All right, guys. I heard that Phantom Pearls got an update. So here we are. Welcome to the new Phantom Pearls. All right, so first off, you don't start off in the Temple of the Sun anymore. It's an actual village. Everything looks brighter. Everything looks more vibrant. And I mean, I like the look. You got like NPC villagers, you know, just like randomly destroy one of them, you know, just end the life of another one. Just, yeah, like that. You don't get any drops though, or money, or EXP. They're, they're just damage sponges. Uh, Zapelli's still here. He's still here. So if you want Hamon for whatever reason, he's still right there. And yeah, this whole city is pretty nice. Got the wooden dummies, but... If you want to go outside, go here, and welcome to the Sacred Forest. Now, this forest is a lot shorter than the previous iteration of the map. Also, there are two worlds. There are two maps. And I recently just got the requirements to go to the second world. Alright, uh, I honestly thought for the longest time that I wouldn't be able to teleport but you know what that's that's fine now as you can see a lot of things have changed so the forest is right here I mean the forest was right there I meant this is the desert now and also you have this little bar that's you know called enchant if you have that fill up all the way you get you get a chance to get like a material it's an enchant, and uh, if you go to your menu, look at that. You collect all these enchants that, you know, buffs your character. And I think emerald is probably the rarest I've gotten, but I'm pretty sure there are more. Like, there has to be like a ruby or something. Uh, I can go check the Trello. You guys can go check the Trello. I will leave it in the description down below. But yes, look at the desert. Look at that. Uh, I think they changed the spawn times for the mini bosses and bosses. So yikes. It's more loose. Like it's it's not like a time thing anymore. Uh, like it's not exact. So instead of like a hard 10 minutes for the desert abomination to spawn, it's like probably fi like 15. 15 minutes, like around 15 to 20 minutes. I'm, I am I don't know the actual rates. You gotta have to join the Discord if you're old enough. So there's that. Oh, and another thing. You can store your class and weapon. That's amazing. And of course, cosmetic skins. I did pay like 30 Robux for both tries, like both first tries for the event shop. Yeah, so... If you haven't spun yet, it should be 15, but once you do spin, uh, it turns into 30, and I, I guess it just adds on 15 Robux. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, not everything here will last. I have no idea why I just phrased it like that. I mean that all the cosmetics will go away soon. <laughs> it's like, a I don't know if it'll be a monthly thing. Anyways, I've been like roaming around. I did not realize that I just went all the way to the uh, the ravine. Or no, not ravine. The, the freezer. The freezer cave. Where the uh, dragon is. Yep. So the dragon would spawn like, what, every 25 minutes? Almost? I, I, again, I don't know the exact rates anymore because it's, it's not exact. There's no hard time for them to spawn. Like, there's no set, you know, time anymore. It's not going to spawn in at, like, 35 minutes or something. And the uh, the big thing, the exiled, the Arknuth, yeah, that that desert worm, yeah, he, he's, like, bigger. But hey, he's also going to spawn... Pretty much like whenever he wants to within like an hour or something. It's crazy. Okay. 
but now I want you guys to see a new part of the map. Uh, we're gonna get to that later. That entrance is later. I'm talking about this part. This part right here. Once you cross over, welcome to the ash expanse. Alright, you gotta destroy these ash skeletons. They do give EXP when you kill them. I think what they're supposed to do is to, you know, let you have a chance at rolling enchants. That's why they have enchant chests. And if you already pulled uh, a full stack of them, uh, 16 is the maximum for an enchant, you just get more pearls. So yeah, for early levels, I, I, I don't know how weak they are because I am level 434. I don't know how weak they are at like level 50 or something. But if you want a level grind early game, you can try to kill them. Not sure. So yeah, that's the new spot. But now, got the Volcano Gate. And traveling into the Volcanic Caverns. Looks very different. Instead of like a, a pillar, or, or like a bunch of pillars all around, like it's some sort of uh, evil like volcanic building, it's like a, you're literally in an actual volcano. Except it's a it's a staircase. But if you go here, welcome to the Frosted Ravine. Now, I already collected all the frozen fossils, but the actual archaic ones, the ones that usually spawn outside of these sorts of biomes in the game, yeah, they, they're not spawning in for me. They, they don't spawn in for me. I don't know why. Uh, public and private servers, I just have not gotten to find them yet. I, I haven't found them yet. That's what I'm trying to say. I have searched the desert, the forest. They're not spawning, so maybe something's bugged. I don't know. I, I already informed Omni about it. Uh, X XO, why did I say Omni? XO Unbound. Wow, I, I mixed up every every name now. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I, I knew XO for like a long time. I don't know why I said Omni in that moment. Anyways, yeah, the only remnants of the previous design is like right here. Alright. It's like a random skeleton. I I think if you end up killing a lot of uh, zombies or something, you do get a free accessory. It's called the femur bone. And if you're struggling to get the heart from the ice dragon, this is your best chance of going in to the uh, second world because man the the heart uh the the drop rate for that heart you know bonus 25 percent exp boost yeah that's that's gonna take a long time so yeah keep killing zombies whenever you see them and they might drop a femur bone all right i'm climbing all right just gotta drink all this okay I believe... Okay, this should be it. Okay. So, after you climb up the volcanic dungeon, you have to touch the zip line, and boom! There you go! Now, the landing is kind of awkward. You don't want to hit the post again, because if you do, you're, you're going all the way back. Okay, so you gotta back up. Trust me, I, I've i been looped over and over again. I, I, I went back and forth, and it was <laughs> really annoying. Uh, but we are here at Outer Sylvia now. So let's enter, and we are here at Inner Sylvia. Okay, nothing's changed about Inner Sylvia, but, you know, we are able to go to that second world now. And I can finally showcase it for the first time on my channel. I don't know if anyone else has covered the game so far. So yeah, I finally am able to 
showcase what the second world will be like. Let's see if I can uh, remember how this used to go. All right. And also you can kill lantern lurkers for that uh, lantern accessory. Okay, let me let me remember. So it's like here. Okay, we keep going. Come on. Okay. Go here. Um all right, we are close. We are close. All right, so after that you go here and go all the way boom there we go and once you have at least 15 accessories on you like i have 16 right now because I, I got the femur bone and the drop uh lantern soul from the lantern lurkers you have this prompt click eight and this um evangelion looking thing I, I don't know if it's Evangelion. Uh, it opens up and like it, it wakes up almost. I don't know. But you're transported to the shuttle. This unknown shuttle. Alright. So after that you are here. Then you go into this room. And let's change that. Alright. Once you click that, use the portal, and welcome to Suicheska. Look at that. Oh, dude is lagging. Is is dude okay? Anyways. Oh no, that's a that's a guy. These are people. <laughs> okay. All right. What's what's he doing here now? Would you like to return to the space shuttle? Uh, no, no thanks. Alright, so this is my first time actually showcasing the second world. And... Wow. World 2 actually does... Have all the crystals. Wow. I'm surprised because I haven't collected everything yet. Alright, 91 rage crystals. The nameless green. I'm... I'm just trying my best. Whoa! Ow, I'm getting hit by something. I... 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 What did I get hit by? I don't understand. Alright, let me just go back. I don't want to risk anything by falling all the way down. I know I don't really take much fall damage. But still. I can't see. Like, are they are are they dinosaurs? I can't tell. Ooh, ooh, ooh! That's a lot of them. That's a lot. That that is a lot of stuff. Nova Talon, sure, sure, go for it. Ah, I can't see all of them. I'm getting hurt a lot. Okay. Uh But yeah, let me let me go try and find where I'm supposed to go. I'm just climbing up here maybe. No. I don't know. All right, I'm Okay, I guess I can't climb that. Okay. We're here. Maybe this will lead somewhere. I'm not sure. Whoa! All right, hold on. What if we just drop all the way down here? Oh, we just die. <laughs> we just die. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to exploring World Two right now. So I'll leave that for another video. I I have to memorize the whole place. But yeah, uh, it, it's good to see that the uh, other relics, uh, like they they can spawn here. The crystals and whatnot. I'm guessing the archaic fossils are also here, and I I know that there are fresh fossils, which is the World 2 exclusive fossils, so that's pretty much it, guys. If you are interested in playing 
Phantom Pearls. Again, the link is in this uh, in the description down below. And don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more Phantom Pearls, leave a comment. Uh, or if you want to check out my Tekken videos, please do that. I I spent seventy bucks on that game, and no one is caring apparently. So come on, please support my my Tekken videos as well. Just remember that you are not alone in the world. You are worth something. I'm Ninja Sifu, and I'm out of here.